Water's empty, but All not right. here. Okay, so hi, I'm, uh, I'm Lucas, I come from Italy, and I'm based in Helsinki since about four years now. And uh, let's say my, my main job is to design and direct uh, commercials in different medias. So they most of the time have some animation elements in it or some mixed media approach. Uh, what I want to talk today about though is uh, a side project I started about uh, three, three years ago. And uh, it focuses on on children apps or digital toys or playing tools, however you want to, to call them. And it started with this little idea. Yeah, so the idea, uh, the idea came while playing with my older daughter um, with this book I bought in a Muji store. It's an origami book, and it goes through the alphabet, and for each letter you have an animal. And then you, you just drag out the letter from the book, and you fold, this, uh, you fold out of this letter the animal. And uh, it was such a, a fun and uh, tactile experience that I thought this would be something nice to uh, bring to phones or tablets to have this tactile and physical interaction with letters. Um, so I thought, like, what is the easiest, easiest way to com combine tactile experience with the phone? So why not put the phone on a piece of paper or whatever you can draw on, and you complete uh, the drawing with some simple lines? So I started sketching this down and uh, tried to fit the very simple lines into the square that it comes out like the animal for each letter. And I started sketching this down, um, and it went pretty fastly. It took about maybe one day to two days to complete the concept of this app. Uh, then uh, that was the fun part. And then the, the more challenging part was to find somebody to make this little product with. So I came. Um, as a one thing, I draw animals came also straight away. The, the name I took draw animal because drawanimals.com was taken, and the the cat became a bit of a symbol for it. So then I had to find uh, the people for it. And uh, Nils Hoffman is a very talented and fast developer, and uh, Ulrich Treuer is a childhood friend and uh, extremely. Uh, a great composer and sound designer. So I pitched the idea, and they were into it, and we made some shares on it, and uh, started to create this little product. Um, the, the feedback was, uh, was, was good. Um, we, we, back then, I had no idea about launching an app, uh, so there was no launch date or no PR planning. So basically, once we were done, we had a very simple beta round with some friends and people. And, and after that, we just put it on the store. Uh, the only thing is that I did is I sent it to a lot of, um, a lot of blocks that are design or tech related. And uh, they picked it up, and we were on a few very major blocks. And it was just uh, nice to have this little product out there. Uh, the Apple was also very keen on featuring us a few times on, the, on, on their store. And uh, one day, we were even uh, App of the Week, which brought us uh, over a million downloads with this little app. So that was a really, um, we were really proud of that, that just three guys can do this little product. It's so simple, and you get such a feedback. So it was uh, extremely a success for us. But then one day, I got. Um, contacted by Media Arts Lab in San Francisco. And they asked if they could use uh, Dronimal for the upcoming iPhone advertising. Uh, so I signed all the papers. And uh, three months later, I went on apple.com. 
and on the main page there was our lion. So that was uh, that was the the greatest achievement for the year, definitely. And it was there three weeks, and I went back on hourly basis to check if it's still there. And it was every time a joy. So then we said, why not uh, make um, why not make another app? And then why not? Uh, create a name or a brand and put these apps under this name. So I came up with the name Yatatoy, and the cat became a bit of our symbol. And we, um, we started working on our next app. So this app was called, uh, is called Miximal, and you basically have the same feeling, so very reduced, simple animals, simple design, and you just flip through and you mix different parts of animals. And you have little goodies when you touch on them, like very simple animations. Um, there is also like a little um, educational twist in it, because you have this little play button there. So when you, you push this play button, um, you get also a mix-up of the syllabs. So this would be a, a penguin, gorilla, elephant, and it becomes a pen real fund. And we had this speaker with this really nice deep voice. Uh, that we recorded, and so it's it's a it's a great uh, effect to mix not just visually but also audially. So you have these funny names coming out. So this is, for example, uh, Ego Go, and it's it's all the time a laugh with the kids. So uh, Apple was very keen on on this one as well, and very kind to feature us uh, on the store, and we were. Uh, really proud to be also in the last keynote on the phones uh, when they had the presentation. And um, it was even pre-installed in all the, the devices in the, in the stores, so all the Apple devices in the stores. Um, so just fastly about the design or how we create or how we approach the idea. So we, we come up maybe with an idea, and then we think of this idea and put just every feature we could imagine in it. So we just throw everything into this possibility that could this idea be, or what could it extra do? And then once we are totally fed up, we just cut it all again down, and we end up with a, a filtered core element. And this is the same for the design. So we, we, just, uh, we just throw everything there, and then we just cut everything down again, and we just end up with the total essentials that are needed. So uh, we, we, we want this simplicity and this quality. So then, five months ago, we launched our uh, third app called uh, Loopimal, and I want to show you the trailer. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Yes. That's nice. Thank you. Um, yeah. So how I guess how you understood it's uh, you have this these blocks that you drag in to this timeline and then you, you build these little sequences and these little loops out of it and uh, it is a total I, or total it is just a new way of thinking for kids I think because uh, it's this linear approach that we are we are we grew up with it and we know it that if I put this there and the course of passes something happens but for for these kids it's a totally new new world it's a new approach so it's kind of a sequencing and in an abstract way it's kind of a programming or or developing in a way so they, they really playfully get into this kind of spirit and, and understand it straight away, uh, how, how this, this, this world and this concept of this, uh, this tool or this, this toy or this toolbox uh, works. So uh, we have a single mode and we have a double mode and we have a four mode. So you, 
you can basically create quite complex, um, complex songs in a simple way. And uh, everything is composed and animated in a way that it's totally safe, so you can't make a mistake. Uh, everything fits together and you will always have a nice result. And this is just uh, really engaging, because there is no wrong, there is no right or wrong, there is no goal. It's just like a tool and you just play with it. Um, so the, the, whole, uh, the whole music is also composed in uh, C major, which means you can grab all the all the, 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 the toy instruments you have of your kids already, and you can take every keyboard and play the white keys and it will fit. So it's again this thinking outside of the screen and this tactile experience coming back that you, you can engage things around your device. Don't just stare at this device and think outside of the box. I think that's very important. Uh, the Apple was very nice with this one as well. And we were editor's choice worldwide, nearly worldwide. And it was a, uh, an amazing success for us. Uh, maybe not in a lucrative success, but just a personal success. Because we are mostly doing this not in a money-driven way. We want to do some, it's, it's a passion. It's about having a very nice, complete product. Uh, as all of us have side jobs where we kind of focus on the most. And this is a little side project that goes apart. Um, yeah, to, to, to wrap this up, it's, um, and to be honest, I'm not, I don't, I don't like kids playing with devices. I don't like kids staring at these devices, but, and I'm personally also very strict with my own kids with the screen time issue. Uh, but unfortunately, I think that's a train we can't stop. So the only thing we can do is provide them with great content and quality. And that's what, what we basically focus on. We want simplicity, we want quality and great content. Uh, as I think, um, if I think back about the toys I played with, with, they are totally stuck in my mind and I use them daily with what I do. So we have there quite uh, a big responsibility and we have to focus on those issues. So thank you a lot. Thank you.